Origin has officially updated the schedule for the second flight of New Glenn, and it's happening sooner than many expected. Naturally, the objectives for this mission are equally ambitious. So, when is this flight set to launch, and what are they aiming to achieve? More importantly, is this timeline realistic given the significant challenges and internal changes Blue Origin is currently facing? Then, we'll shift our focus to an exciting development involving an Elon Musk-affiliated organization, Doge, which is preparing to undertake crucial work in collaboration with NASA. Let's dive into all this on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Blue Origin has shown great determination in the space race. In January, they launched their debut flight and reached orbit, ending the title of being a suborbital company that lasted a quarter century. But they also encountered some problems when they failed to land the booster on the drone ship. That's when Blue Origin, as well as everyone, will have to focus on the second flight of New Glenn. And at the 27th Annual Commercial Space Conference on the 12th of February, Blue Origin CEO Dave Limp revealed the schedule for this flight. Specifically, he said, I think we could still fly late spring. Late spring, meaning it may take place around March to May, which is very close. With the problems in the first flight, along with the slow pace of Blue Origin's work, this obviously is much sooner than expected, showing the great ambition of this company. Not only does Blue Origin have an ambitious timeline, but it also has some formidable goals. Firstly, of course, they want to replicate their first flight's achievement, reaching orbit, but they're also aiming for a payload launch. The payload for this flight hasn't been announced, but Dave Limp said they have a couple of different options. He revealed, we sort of treat first three flights as development flights. If we can get commercial payloads on them, we will do so. If it came to it and we just had to fly a mass simulator, we'll fly a mass simulator. That sounds pretty formidable, suggesting they're looking to expand their rocket's reputation. Besides continuing to achieve success with the upper stage, Blue Origin certainly wants to complete its previously failed mission, the landing of the booster on the drone ship, which is important for them to compete with SpaceX's Falcon rocket currently and Starship in the future. Regarding this, Dave Limp also revealed the problem with the booster on the last flight. Specifically, the problem came from the propulsion system. He did not reveal specifically, but stated, We had most of the right conditions in the engine, but we weren't able to get everything right to the engine from the tanks. We think we understand what the issues are. But from another perspective, Dave Limp revealed that demonstrating the BE-4 engine's relight capability in flight was something they could not demonstrate before the launch. He also said, It was a combination of a couple things. This was our first attempt at it. I don't want to go into too much detail because we're still going through the anomaly investigation. I feel like the team has a really good handle to it and modifications are not complicated. Overall, Blue Origin seems to be very determined to move towards the second flight. So, do you think they can launch on schedule and succeed? Let me know with a yes or no in the comment section down below. For me, I remain quite skeptical about Blue Origin's ability to stay on schedule and achieve success in their next New Glenn flight, primarily due to a variety of pressing issues. First and foremost, if Dave Limp's recent statements are accurate, it appears that Blue Origin was not adequately prepared for booster recovery during the first flight. Additionally, they seem to be struggling with resolving the issues related to both the booster and the BE-4 engines. This is somewhat understandable as navigating and landing boosters on a drone ship is no easy feat. Even SpaceX had to endure multiple failures before mastering the process. However, this highlights a potential issue with Blue Origin's approach. It may be too ambitious too soon. Rather than immediately attempting a drone ship landing, a more logical step would have been to first perfect ocean landings to better understand potential complications before advancing to full recovery efforts. Without sufficient preparation and testing, the upcoming mission faces a significant risk of failure. Adding to the complexity of the situation, Blue Origin is now required to undergo a mishap investigation by the Federal Aviation Administration due to the failed booster landing. As per FAA regulations, the company must identify and publicly disclose the root cause of the failure, propose corrective actions, and ensure public safety measures before the FAA will grant a new launch license. Even though the FAA has streamlined its review process in recent years, it is highly unlikely that this regulatory process will be completed in time to support the ambitious late spring timeline set by Blue Origin's leadership. 
Another major concern is Blue Origin's notoriously slow production pace, which casts further doubt on the feasibility of their next mission. Consider that it took them the entire year of 2024 just to prepare for their first launch, which included rolling out hardware, installing engines, conducting separate and integrated tests, and undergoing extensive inspections. Each of these steps required significant time and resources. At this point, it is likely that the booster for the next flight is still in the production phase. Complicating matters further, the upper stage for the second flight reportedly failed a test last year, raising further questions about whether it will be ready in time. Additionally, the slow production and testing of the BE-4 engines create even more uncertainty. The BE-4 has already experienced significant delays over the years, and despite recent progress, it remains a key factor that could hinder Blue Origin's launch schedule. Beyond these immediate technical and regulatory challenges, Blue Origin is also dealing with broader organizational and operational issues. One of the most concerning aspects is the unclear status of the payload originally scheduled for this second flight, NASA's Escapade mission. Initially, Escapade was set to launch aboard New Glenn's maiden flight before being reassigned to the second due to delays. However, Limp made no mention of it in his recent statements, raising questions about whether the mission is still part of Blue Origin's plans. If NASA has indeed decided to move Escapade to another launch provider, it'd be a major failure for Blue Origin. This would be understandable given that NASA has already waited years for New Glenn to be ready, and Mars missions require strict timing due to planetary alignment, which only offers launch windows every 26 months. Delays can be detrimental when each mission is critical, and NASA may not be willing to take further risks with Blue Origin. Another looming issue is Blue Origin's recent decision to lay off 10% of its workforce, equating to more than 1,000 employees, including individuals in management positions. This move is part of a broader restructuring effort aimed at reducing bureaucracy and streamlining operations. In a statement on the 13th, Limp explained, We grew and hired incredibly fast in the last few years, and with that growth came more bureaucracy and less focus than we needed. Limp has expressed confidence in this restructuring, stating, We've done some reorganizations as well, pretty significant ones, with a big focus on the operations and manufacturing side of the business, where I didn't think it was organized as efficiently as it could be. He further reassured stakeholders by adding, Let me add that I am extremely confident in the enormous opportunities in front of us, and have never been more optimistic about our mission. We will be a stronger, faster, and more customer-focused company that consistently meets and exceeds our commitments. While this workforce reduction may indeed be part of a strategic realignment, it is almost certain to cause some disruption in the short term. Laying off such a large number of employees could slow down progress on multiple projects, particularly given that Blue Origin is not only focused on New Glenn, but also actively working on other major initiatives such as New Shepard, the Blue Moon Lander, which is targeted for launch this year, the Blue Ring spacecraft, and the long-term Blue Mars project. Additionally, Jeff Bezos has ambitious plans for New Glenn, aiming to conduct 25 flights per year. The rocket is tied to multiple high-profile contracts, including the National Security Space Launch Phase 3 program and the deployment of Amazon's Kuiper satellite constellation. If Blue Origin does not quickly resolve its current production and regulatory issues, it could find itself in a situation similar to United Launch Alliance, struggling with a backlog of missions and an inability to meet growing demand. Will they be able to overcome these challenges and prove themselves as a serious competitor in the space industry? Only time will tell. Next up, let's discuss the upcoming collaboration between Doge and NASA. Doge, short for the Department of Government Efficiency, is a newly established agency under the current administration led by billionaire and SpaceX founder Elon Musk. Its primary mission is to assess and improve the efficiency of government spending with a particular focus on auditing financial transactions. Now, Doge is turning its attention to NASA, a move that has sparked both anticipation and controversy. NASA's acting administrator Janet Petro confirmed that Doge-affiliated staff members are already present within NASA, actively reviewing financial data. She stated, We are going to have Doge come. They're going to look, similarly to what they've done at other agencies, at our payments and what money has gone out. However, she did not disclose specifics regarding the areas of focus for Doge investigations. This initiative is likely tied to recent executive orders issued by the administration. 
which prioritize government efficiency and financial accountability. Petro elaborated on NASA's position, saying, We are really executing the executive orders. That is what our heads are down and in on doing. However, the move has ignited debates regarding potential conflicts of interest, data transparency, and exclusive financial relationships between government agencies and private aerospace companies. Given Musk's leadership role in SpaceX, a company that holds significant NASA contracts, critics question whether Doge's audit might be biased or lead to preferential treatment. Petro sought to address these concerns, emphasizing NASA's strict ethical guidelines. We have very strict conflict of interest policy, so any employee or any person who is coming in, we will check out their conflicts of interest and make sure they don't have any conflicts of interest with any of the companies that we work with. Despite these controversies, I believe that this audit is both necessary and long overdue. NASA has historically faced criticism for excessive spending, with some projects, such as the Space Launch System and Mars Sample Return Program, exceeding budgets while delivering questionable returns on investment. A thorough review could expose inefficiencies and redirect funding toward more practical and innovative projects. That said, it is crucial for both Doge and NASA to strike a balance, ensuring financial responsibility without compromising national security or stifling innovation in the highly competitive space sector. As the global space race accelerates, NASA and other agencies must optimize their operations to remain at the forefront. We will closely monitor this process and provide continuous updates, so stay tuned. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly and the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.